So I just wanted to say a few words about my mom, and uh, I am glad that this has turned out exactly way, the way I wanted it to be, is people who loved her are here and are, uh, are laughing and having a good time and being silly, because that is really what my mom was all about, as you well know. I wanted to tell you a couple things you might not know about my mom. When my dad was uh, young and he was dating, he told me that he dated a woman who had, uh, was driving him, and a bee flew in the window, and she freaked out. When she, while she was driving. My dad never dated her again. In contrast, he, he uh, took my mother home, I, I guess for some reason their first date was like on Christmas Eve. It was, uh, it was around Christmas time, and so he took her back to his mother's house. They're downstairs, grandma's up, you know, mom's up uh, asleep upstairs, mom and dad. And uh, my grandmother had put, um, what do you call this, stuff? garland around, real garland, like real uh, evergreen around her fireplace. And it caught on fire from the fire, from the fire they made. My mother leaped up, grabbed these burning, flaming fronds, and threw them into the fireplace. And Grandma yells down, what's going on down there? She goes, nothing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was kind of like Gilda Radner, nothing, one of those things. But that's when my dad said, hey, that's the one I want to stick with. Um, as, as a child, uh, when Mom and I would argue, as our family argues quite a bit, as it turns what? out. What? We, we do don't not. argue. We do not. <laughs> uh, my mother had all these memories of when we would bake cookies together and this sort of thing. We never bake cookies together. I was in the garage in the shop making uh, wood boats with my dad is what I remembered. When I was a teenager, I had absolutely no use for my mother whatsoever. She was, oh, my cousin Teeb. Oh. And I'm assuming Lily is following. Okay, Lily will be out soon. So uh, anyway, I had no use for her at all when I was a teenager. And uh, you know, when you're a teenager, you look at life only from your perspective. There are no other perspectives at all. And I was telling a story fairly recently about how um, I just couldn't wait to get out of the house when I turned 18. And my mother just very quietly said, yeah, you didn't see me hold the door shut. <laughs> and it was the first time it occurred to me that maybe that had some effect on her at that time. You know, you don't think that way. Uh, but then I had a child. I had Lindsay. And suddenly, I had worth in my mother's eyes, I think, at that point. Yes, yes. Um, she liked Kyle, too. But it was really broke the ice with, uh, with Lindsay and all. Um, Kyle and my mom had a, a special bond. One of the photos uh, you'll see in there, actually, I don't think I did put it in the slideshow. Kyle bought my mother uh, these, uh, what kind of shoes were those? Van slip-ons. Van slip-ons, uh, red and black checkerboard. And Kyle had the white and black ones. And we have a picture of their feet together. But he was so happy one day he went to see, we went to see her and she only had one on because her other foot was swollen. But she still wore that shoe. <laughs> she was so silly. One of her favorite lines was, we have to laugh because we're too old to cry. And I, uh, I always really liked that. She was uh, one of the driving forces in the Irks, which was the Eagle Rock Cruising Club. And uh, TV, what, did you ever do anything with the Irks? Yeah. The Irks were fun. That was a really fun group of people. They had... Uh, you had a point out spelled E-R-K-K. -K. Yes, E-R-K-K, -K, the Eagle Rock Cruising Club. And it was named <laughs> after this guano-covered rock that's right off the coast of Catalina. And uh, they got so crazy. They, they made these little emblems, they, uh, this, this little flag, and they had broidered it on their shirts. They had hats. They had... Uh, my mother created the Great Irk, which was a sheet that she dyed the color of this giant flag. And she would, they, whoever hoisted it up the back day of their boat was the one who actually was hosting the cocktail party. And that's Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> and uh, so they, they were, uh, she was a driving force in that. One of the, one of the parties they had, they, I, I think my mother had this idea. They, the idea was, it was a competition between each couple. And the, the, they were in a, each couple would get into a dinghy. The man had to wear a paper sack over his head that had a Muppet drawn on it. And I'm not sure what importance the Muppet had, but it did make it funnier. The woman had to direct the man to get across with rowing, except she wasn't allowed to talk. So it was just hitting and bashing and this and grunting and this sort of thing. And, but for, for some reason, the entire time, they had to be carrying a spoonful of beer from one dock across to another dock. And the idea was they were going to have to do it enough times to actually fill the other bowl. You can imagine exactly how well this worked. So my mother just pushed everybody into the ocean. Everybody ended up swimming in their full dress clothes. She, uh, she went through many periods of, of silliness. Um, oh, I remember coming upstairs. Or down, yeah, it was actually upstairs. Our house was upside down. We had uh, bedrooms downstairs, and upstairs was the kitchen. I came upstairs. 
and there was puffed rice all over the floor in the kitchen, and my mother was dancing around on it like this in her bare feet. And I figured, okay, it's time to ship her off. Mom's lost her marbles. I said, what are you doing? And she said, well, I was trying to open one of those bags. You know, those they got the air, and you're pulling, you're pulling, and it went like that and went all over, and I figured I might as well have fun before I clean it up anyway. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that image. I told that story to a couple that I worked with, uh, Jean and Ernie, and then uh, later on they ended up getting invited to go sailing, and I said, whatever you do, do not bring up the story about the cereal, because I don't think my mother would like that I told you the story. <coughs> they showed up with Fruit Loop necklaces to give my parents. Oh. Didn't say a word, oh. but we have a picture in the slideshow of my mother and father wearing the Fruit Loop necklaces <laughs> while they were sailing. It was awesome. Um, she also had an interesting perspective on aging. I remember she was about 78 years old, and she said, uh, you know, I really got to get going, Allison. I got to feed, uh, do, take care of the pancake supper over at the old folks' home. <laughs> You're 78, Mom. You know, maybe 80. I forget how old she was, and she was just, you know, that was fine. Uh, I, you may not know that my mother had an internet presence. Her name, uh, my my name on the internet is Podfeet, and her name is the Pod Bomb. And uh, she actually became beloved through the podcast. I would talk about her. I actually had my on my show once, and my show is called the No Silly Cast. She called it the Silly Cast, and that became another name that they were calling it. The uh, they called it the Silly Cast, but. She ended up loved and admired by people who had never even met her. And it was so interesting when I, I felt I needed to tell the internet when she passed away. And the letters that I got of people saying, I remember this about her, I remember that about her, and they, they really, really appreciated her. Uh, Linda from New York just really, really respected and admired her and, and was always sending me letters about that. Rose from Australia, she, uh, she adored her for her spirit and her refusal to take things too seriously. And uh, Mark from Washington actually sent an audio file to her for Mother's Day talking about what a good mom she was. And uh, it was, uh, I remember playing it for mom and she had, you know, didn't have all of her speech by that time, but she just made, kept making me play it over and over and over again. She really liked it. So I thought it was really cool that she ended up with an internet presence at, uh, at 93. But in, uh, in closing, because I won't go on any longer, I want to raise a, raise a toast to my mother and uh, let's say this. You gotta laugh because we're too old to cry. Uh, <laughs> cheers. cheers.